say hello to the nice YouTube people. Come on, you get you say, hello YouTube people. Hi, welcome to my workshop. My name's Darren, this is Steel. And we just wanted to say Happy Christmas, Happy New Year. I've um, got a couple of little things for you, uh, both plastic, just a quick video. Something perhaps you could print out if you've got a printer for Christmas. Or if you need a last minute gift, I know it's close. This is the day before Christmas Eve. <laughs> So, a couple of quick things. Um, the first one is a little tool for marking out arcs near corners, and the second one has got nothing to do with workshops at all, but it's this. Very, very simple. I couldn't find what I was looking for on the internet, so I made my own. It's a razor blade holder. So I'll, uh, I'll pop that up on Thingiverse for you if you need a very quick gift for somebody. Um, and you don't mind the design, I quite like it. And the other one, of course, is this little corner marking gauge I'll show you now. So how many times have you been watching a woodworking video or been doing a bit of woodworking yourself and the solution for trying to draw a nice rounded corner on a piece of wood before rounding off the corners has been to grab the nearest tin of something, pop it in there and sort of Hope that it's the right sort of size and yeah, away you go. But what if that's not what you want? What if you're after something specific, something repeatable, uh, something that doesn't require you to align it like that every time? One solution is to use one of these plastic circle templates and that's certainly what I've been doing in the past. They're hard to see in this one but you've got little lines that make lining it up with the wood nice and easy so if we spin it around and we pick a different corner here if I line that line up and that line up yeah no we don't <laughs> I line that one and that one up with the edge there so they just touch then there we go and there's our round over but still a little bit fiddly what if there was something that was a little template that had your favourites on it that you could use quickly and easily whenever you wanted? Well, there is now. I designed this. These are the main arcs to use for when you want to draw a rounded corner. On the other side of this, there's some little walls and they line up neatly with the corner of the wood. So what you do is you just jam it on, pull it into the corner. Oops, sorry, it's caught on. There we go. Jam it on, pull it all the way into the corner, pick your arc, drop in your 0.5 millimeter pencil and snap it off in the gap. No, don't really snap it off. There we go, and away we go. And there's our arc, done. And these corner or side walls ensure that it lines up perfectly with the corner of the wood. So if we slide our piece of wood in, as long as our piece of wood is square in the corner, these edges force it to line up and our arcs will always be in the right place. So I've got a 10, 20, 30, 50 and 100 mil radius in the corner here. So super easy. You just want to do a different size radius. One of these ones, you just stick it in and There we go. 100 mil radius. That doesn't really show on camera, does it? There you go, that's better. So there's, there's the 100 mil radius that it drew. I've actually ended up making two versions of this because on the first one, let's bring it in nice and close. Let's see, there we go. You can see here yeah, there's numbers. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. And they represent the radius of these arcs in the corners. But unfortunately, when I did it, I left out 30 mil. So I had to remake it. So here we are, same thing again. This time it's got its 30 mil, but for some reason as it printed, it just didn't print around the numbers as neatly. But serendipity, happy accidents, I think that's actually easier to read than the other one. So I don't think it will happen for everybody when they print it out. I think this is just a rarity, but there you go. I've also put three additional holes here 
uh, because there was the spare space in the unit really and I thought it would be handy to have some extra holes that weren't covered by these particular arcs that have been cut through. So in total we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50 and 100 mil radius is available on this neat little device that is so easy to use. So quick and simple and uh, it's all over. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great Christmas. Have a great new year. We'll see you next year. Cheers.